Another week, another attempt by young Palestinians to pray at Al-Aqsa Mosque. But once again, Israeli forces use force to stop them. Since the war on Gaza started, they've stopped mostly those under the age of 45 from praying at Islam's third holiest site, often using heavy-handed tactics to push them back. As this group of young Palestinians explained, how Israeli restrictions have worsened. We noticed Israeli forces keeping a close eye on us. And then this happened. We were interviewing uh, some youngsters that were trying to go up the road and do the prayers, the Friday prayers of Aqsa Mosque, and the Israeli forces came along and pushed them back. And while we were in the middle of interviewing them, uh, they threw tear gas towards us. Just minutes later, a Turkish TV crew was also hit, breaking their camera lens. They directly targeted our camera and my camera and then pushed us. Pushed us. Push you out of the way? Yeah. yeah. The Israeli commander signals to his team to stop and then they retreat. But it's far from over for this Palestinian shopkeeper left to clean up dirty water sprayed from a water cannon. Every Friday they cover us with that stuff. They'll do it again next week for no reason. It stinks and it affects our business and customers. As the Friday prayers begin, worshippers use a dustbin to block the Israelis out. Forced to pray on the street, they ask God to protect them, their families and fellow Palestinians in Gaza. Most of them didn't want to talk to us. They said for fear of being arrested, anything they say or do these days could land them in an Israeli jail. See all these young guys? We can't even carry out our basic Muslim rights in Al-Aqsa. We're not a threat. We don't have knives or explosives. I'm now talking to you, but I might get arrested. They search people's homes and then make arrests. Many Palestinians are staying at home in the face of severe restrictions on their movement and what they call Israel's collective punishment. Locals here say they want peace, but that's not possible as long as Israel maintains its occupation. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.